Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Sumit from Backbench Coder. Just trying to be cool, but never actually works. Anyway, first of all, happy new year to all my viewers and a very happy new year. This very is important. This very happy new year to all my 340 subscribers. Thanks for supporting me. Let's see what I can do in 2021. Anyway, back to our project. Okay, in the last video, we got all the details about the video and rendered the necessary data like the video title, video statistics, video description and all. And in this video, we are going to get the channel details. So we need to render the channel icon, the number of subscribers and the subscription status. So first of all, let's go to our documentation and find the endpoint. Here is the documentation. Just go to the channel section. Inside this channel section, you will get the list. So list by channel ID. This example retrieves the channel data, which exactly I need. And here you can see the endpoint. This is slash channels, as simple as that. Authorization, it does not need the access token. That is fine. What important is this parameter? So inside this parameter, the part section, we can actually pass the snippet statistics content details id all which we don't really need we need only the snippet statistics and the content details and then this id so this id is the channel id of course and anything else not really okay so let's create the action creator so just go to redux folder inside this redux folder let's create an action creator this is a channel action creator right so i'll create a separate action creator inside this actions folder channel dot action dot js okay cool now the boilerplate of the action creator is pretty much the same so let me just copy an action creator from this video let's copy this get video by id copy this go to channel action paste this that's it first of all i need to create three action types so just go to the action types action types dot js okay so first one is what export const the name of the action creator is channel details request channel details request copy this copy this change the name using the multi cursor this is what channel details success and the third one is channel details fail fail nice now just go to a channel action.js first of all change the action creator name this is get channel details get channel details okay it will get the id the channel id it needs the dispatch inside try catch block first of all dispatch not selected video request it is channel details request details request should be auto imported nice okay i also need the request instance so let me just auto import this from the api come on auto import you can do this yeah request from dot dot slash dot dot slash api dot js okay so the endpoint is channels 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 or channel let me see it again this is channels yeah now here's my first typo of the video channels cool i need the snippet i need the statistics i also need the content details content details just pass the id as the id so i can just remove the second value cool now if the request is success this is selected video success no this is channel details success details success should be auto imported nice i'll get the data as the data dot items the first value the zero to index and if anything goes wrong just log out the error error dot message so i need to show error dot response dot data now if anything goes wrong this is channel details fail channel details fail now again this is error dot response dot data the payload nice okay let's see the action creator is ready this is exported so let's create a reducer inside a reducer folder channels or channel dot reducer dot js okay now again let me copy a reducer from the videos reducer just copy a reducer selected video reducer copy this go to channel reducer paste this okay so just change the name selected video reducer nope this is channel details reducer the initial state loading is true that is fine i need to replace that video with the channel channel is null that is fine you can make this an object that is also fine that's it the second value is accent that this structure the accent get the payload and the type now the case first case is what 
channel details request details request should be auto imported nice job bro state copy the previous state loading is true now the second case selected video success what it is this is channel details success so just copy the previous state and not the video it should be channel replace the video with the channel just dispatch the plugin charger action nice reduce or return the new state with charging as true okay so just set the channel with the payload the loading is false mm, that is fine and then the third one is selected video fail it is channel details fail should be auto imported nice copy the previous state the channel details is null or i should say channel is null and then the loading is false error is payload that is fine and default just return the state save this now import the channel reducer in the store so just go to store store.js cool inside this combine reducer i need to pass my channel reducer so import from dot dot slash reducer slash channel reducer the name of the reducer is channel reducer channel details reducer come on Sumit. channel details reducer just put this in the combine reducer and pass this as channel details channel details that's it now i need to fire my accent creator inside the video metadata component so just go to the video metadata dot js first of all let me just close all the unnecessary tabs close the sidebar that is fine okay so at the top i need to fire this accent creator when the component did mount so obviously use effect the callback function the dependency array inside the dependency array just pass the dispatch which i don't really have right now we'll create that but before that just import the use effect from react come on auto import good job so use dispatch should be coming from react redux hooks here it is use dispatch auto imported nice i have my dispatch function so inside the use effect when the component did mount just fire the accent creator the name of the accent creator it is get channel details let's try to auto import this yeah okay so i just need to pass the channel id so channel id that's it i need to pass the channel id inside the dependency array that's it save this cool now i can see my data so just go to youtube using youtube refresh this go to redux store here it is i have my channel data go to state go to this channel here it is i have the snippet i have the content details i have the statistics so basically i need the channel icon i need a number of subscribers and then to get this subscription status i need to make another request i'll be talking about this later okay so just grab this channel icon i can grab this from the content details the channel icon i guess inside the snippet inside the snippet yeah there is a thumbnails just go for the default and then this url and the number of subscribers i can get this from the statistics so technically i don't need this content details okay inside the statistics i have this subscriber count nice so just go to the video metadata component mm -hmm. okay first of all just grab the data from the redux store so const need to destructure something from use selector just pass the selector function it will get the global state and just go to state dot channel details channel details how oh. channel details dot channel remember this is my object and from this channel i need the snippet and the statistics so snippet and the statistics but look at this the snippet is already defined at the top so i just need to rename this let's rename this to channel snippet and the statistics to channel statistics that's cool okay just grab the channel snippet go inside this channel icon where is the channel icon this one so just remove this source the hard coded source put a curly brace channel snippet if i have the channel snippet i'll go inside the thumbnails thumbnails and if i have the thumbnails i'll go inside the default so with an optional chaining and if i have the default then i'll get the url that's it just put a dot that's it now and the number of subscribers just remove this 10,000 and put channel statistics with an optional chaining with an optional chaining subscriber count now it should show my subscribers and the channel icon let's see 
like this is not rounded why i have the 10 million subscribers which is absolutely fine and why the channel icon is not rounded <laughs> inside this image of oh, this is not rounded circle it is rounded circle save this the class name was wrong i mean the typo now it's fine now i just need to get the subscription status so for that just go to a documentation just go inside the subscriptions just go inside the lists here you can see the use cases check whether a subscription status exists and the point of the description is you have to be authorized it means you need to pass your access token with the request and i can pass my access token cause it is saved in my redux store and anything else yeah this one this mining parameter has to be true and then nothing else pretty much simple okay so just go to the accent creator channel accent creator cause it is related to a channel hmm. let me just create a separate accent creator copy this and paste here okay just change the name to what check subscription status nice it will get the channel id it will get the dispatch and it will also get the get state function because from the get state i can get the redux store and from the redux store i can get the access token get state nice cool now just dispatch channel details request you don't need to dispatch anything actually first create the accent type so just go to accent type i just need to create one you can create three export const the name of the accent type is set subscription status nice just copy this and put this inside the string save this cool just go to channel accent okay so the end point is subscriptions the parameters inside the part i'll pass the snippet then the id the id should be actually for channel id or something like that let me see yeah the for channel id parameter specifies a comma separated list of channel ids and the response will then contain subscriptions matching those channels okay so you just need to copy this for channel id i mean pass the id as the for channel id okay colon id cool and the mine should be true that is fine inside the config inside the headers i just need to pass my access token so the key is authorization you need to send this as the brr token so just inside a string literal brr put a dollar sign and curly brace call the get state it will return me the redux store from this just go to auth and grab the access token auth dot access token cool and if the request is success just fire set subscription status yeah should be auto imported nice and what about the payload now here's a problem so before sending any payload let me just log out the data so log data nice and if anything goes wrong channel details fails i don't need to fire anything okay cool now just fire this accent creator channel subscription status inside our video metadata component when the component did mount of course so just dispatch inside the use effect channel subscription status call this just pass the channel id that's it let me show you the data i hope there is no error refresh this here it is go to console and here it is now just look at this response data i have the e tag i have this items array which is empty i have the kind and i have the page information now how can we check the subscription status let me tell you you need to check this using the items length so if the length of this items array is not zero it means the user is subscribed to this channel and if the length of this item is zero it means the user is not subscribed to this channel so that's the logic like i got this from the youtube api okay so let's do that so inside this channel action payload so just check if the data dot items dot length is not equal to equal to zero it means if it is not equal to equal to zero it means the subscription status is true and the payload is true and if the length is zero it means the subscription status is false so the user is not subscribed to this channel that is fine let's now handle this in the reducer so i'll be using the same reducer so just go to a channel reducer the name of the accent type is channel subscription status should be auto imported 
Oh no. Oh, set subscription status. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Should be auto imported. Come on, auto import. You can do this. Yeah. Return. Copy the previous state using the spread operator. Then just override the subscription status. So, subscription status is payload. I don't have the subscription status in my initial state. So, let's just put this. Actually, if you don't put this in the initial state, not a problem at all. Okay, now I can check the subscription status inside my channel metadata. Inside this use selector from the channel, I also need the subscription status. Actually, not. I'm getting the channel right. So, I can make a separate selector function. Let's, let's create a separate selector function actually. Or I could have modified that, but I don't want to do that. Use selector, let's grab the state. Let's go to state dot channel details dot subscription status and just copy the subscription status and grab the subscription status as subscription status. Subscription status. Okay. So now using the subscription status, I can conditionally render this text. The subscribe. So just put a curly brace and check if the subscription status is true. I also subscribed. And if it is not, I also subscribe bro subscribe come on subscribe and on this context if you have not subscribed my channel please hit the like button if you are enjoying the content okay just save this and with this I also want to change the background color of the subscription button so if the user is subscribed I also a gray background color so just inside this class name put a curly brace and a temporary literal okay cool just inside our assign just check the subscription status if this is true I'll also add another class which is button gray, button gray and if it is not the default color so I can put an and here, save this, just go to a SAS file, video metadata.sas, inside this button ambersend dot button gray, so if the button has the class button gray, just hover over this you can see the button class button gray, the background color gray okay so let's see it should work just go to the app refresh this just go to redux just go to a state inside this channel details the subscription status is false which is false cause i am not subscribed to this channel and now just let me manually grab a video of a channel which i am subscribed to just grab the video id go to the youtube using youtube the fake youtube replace the id and refresh and here it is my subscribe status is subscribed and this is subscribed i am subscribed to this channel so that's why this is saying subscribe with a gray background i have rendered the channel icon the number of subscribers and the subscription status in the next video we will handle this comment list part yeah so that's it see you in the next video